Usually when I'm overwhelmed, discouraged, angry, depressed, what has lifted me up is when you are able to, to, to recognize that um, whatever's happening to you, whatever you're going through, uh, it's not just about you. And that you're not the only one going through it. And that usually ends up being um, a source of, of, of power and, 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 uh, uh, and then sometimes you can turn pain into joy as a consequence. Uh, we need to be more uh, mindful and thoughtful of, you know, everyone's lived experience uh, because we're all carrying uh, trauma. Uh, that's why I focus on mental health and I go to therapy, which helps me to be a stronger pillar and a stronger man for my son. It is about like kind of like building yourself first because, you know, you don't want to go be having a, a backpack full of traumatic experiences and trying to, you know, go and help other people and you haven't even addressed the situations in yourself. It's so important for us to check in with each other. So the next time a brother says to you, I'm all right, say, but how are you? And when they say, all right, say, but how are you? Give them that space to talk about how they're really feeling because it's so important. Congressman Lewis, um, you too have a story of pain and resilience. You were present and marching in Selma, um, 1965. What was and what has been the source of your strength? What keeps you going and what keeps you fighting? More than anything, my faith kept me, held me together. And I couldn't give up, could not give in. When I've been beaten on the bridge, I thought I saw death. I thought I was going to die. And I said a little prayer, say, Lord, let me live. I want to stay here. I want to be around. And I believe it was the grace of God and praying witnesses that helped save me. And so today I feel more lucky, more than lucky, more than blessed, but to be here, to see the changes that have occurred, to live to see a young man, a young friend like President Barack Obama become president of the United States of America. It was worth the pain. And that's why I believe that we cannot give up, we cannot give in, become bitter or hostile. And to see all of the young people, black, white, Latino, Asian American, Native American, standing up, speaking up, being prepared to march. They're going to help redeem the soul of America. We have an incredible opportunity in this moment to do things that have never been done before. And because of the work of people like John Lewis, this is the time to stand. We can't accept um, a little bit of justice, a little bit of freedom, a little bit of equality. We have to have real freedom, real equality, real justice. That has to continue to sustain how we treat one another. We need to tell people, tell each other to be hopeful, to be optimistic, and to never ever give up or to get down. I tell you the past few days have been so inspiring to me. To see so many young people, so many children in adversity, it give me great hope. I want to invite us to remember the contributions of others who went before us. John Lewis is a great example of an elder who has done the work and is leaving and passing the torch. Even as he continues to run the race, he's passing the torch. Remember the elders that have been trying to keep up. That we want to be with you. We want to see what you are creating. And so as you move forward, please remember, please remember that we want to be along for the ride too. Let us remember that the only way to experience the stars is to walk into the darkness and that we can do that together. We're gonna to get there. It's all gonna work out. 
but we must help it work out. So we must continue to be bold, brave, courageous, push and pull to re-redeem the soul of America and move closer to a community at peace with itself. But no one, but no one will be left out or left behind because of race, of color, of nationality. <laughs>